Hello and welcome to another video. Today's been actually okay. I woke up this morning quite early and I was in a lot of pain. I actually think when I first wake up in the morning is my least favourite time of the day because everything hurts. My head was throbbing so badly I could feel it in my teeth and my sinuses, my neck, my whole spine. My shoulders were throbbing so much I could feel it in my fingertips. It was just not good. And I was like, oh no, that's gonna mean today is gonna be really hard work and just not a good day. But actually when I got up and I did some stretches that I do every morning, the pain started to dissipate a bit, which is really good. And the pain in my jaw has been a lot better today than it was yesterday. Yesterday was really bad. So it's actually been, it's not been a busy day, exactly but I feel as though it's been busy because I watched Game of Thrones this morning and it was a really intense episode and I always get so worked up when I watch it because I've read all the books and I know that the books are different from the TV show but because the TV show surpassed the books it's all new for me now and I get really excited when I watch it and I honestly have heart palpitations my autonomic symptoms go off the charts because I'm getting so worked up so it's quite a physical ordeal when I watch it. So it was quite exhausting watching the episode today. Then straight after that I ate lunch and then I went straight into watching something else, which was a really bad idea, I shouldn't have done that. So halfway through that I got really bad sensory overload and I knew I just had to stop looking at screens. So I just shut everything off and I just lay in bed and listened to an audiobook for a bit. But I really wanted to have a shower and wash my hair today because I have counselling tomorrow. So I managed to do that and actually the shower made me feel a bit better. So that's really good. But I think I've used up my energy allowance for today. So I'm just going to take it easy for this evening now. I'm just going to relax and watch the athletics. I love having sport to watch all day. It's great. Archie's driving me a bit mental. He really wants to sit on my laptop and pour at the screen at the athletics. You know when you press a button, you're not supposed to press it, it makes a horrible noise. He's doing that and he keeps putting his paw on the trackpad. Very, very funny. Very, very cute. Oh, he's doing it again. I just opened my curtains to pull my blind down and look at the amazing rainbow I've just found. How incredible is that? I didn't even think it was raining, but it must be. Oh dear, this day has not started well. <laughs> Archie came into my bedroom this morning before I'd even eaten my breakfast and he'd just been to the toilet and he proceeded to wipe his butt all over my clean sheets. They were put on the day before. Why? Why? Why would he do that? And I was just, I was so annoyed because it wasn't even 9am yet and I had to strip my duvet cover off my bed and then realised that my duvet then had to go in the wash as well. Yeah, so that was not a relaxing start to the day. And actually it couldn't have happened on a worse day because my dad is driving his parents to Essex today to visit our cousins that live there, his sister, because my cousin has just come back from Australia after living there for like three years, I think. So everyone's having a little family meet up. Not me, obviously, I can't do that. So he left at about 10.30, so I had to get my own lunch. I've also got counselling this afternoon, <laughs> so it's just been a little bit of a hectic day so far. I haven't got a headache yet, but it's starting now, so actually my counselling isn't for two hours, it's a little bit later than usual, so I'm going to just lie down, listen to an audiobook, and just try and relax. I am exhausted. I had another really intense counselling session, so I've just been feeling a bit spaced out after it. And what with everything else that happened today, having to strip my bed, having to go and get my own lunch, having to give Archie's lunch, I'm just wiped out now. As soon as it's been such a hectic day, I treated myself to a few new t-shirts from Topshop. I was kind of holding off because Topshop are pretty expensive, but they are good quality and I know I've talked a lot about how many of my pyjamas are too big for me now, but it's nothing compared to my like normal clothes. About a year ago, I got rid of all the clothes that were too small for me. I didn't want to keep anything. It was like a real cathartic experience. I just wanted to throw everything out and just not hold on to things in the kind of hope that I would one day fit into them again because I just find it quite depressing. So I threw everything out. I didn't throw it out, I gave it to charity. And then literally as soon as I did that, I started losing weight. <laughs> and now of course, I wish I'd kept some because none of my bigger clothes fit me anymore. So I just bought a few t-shirts that will actually fit me, which is always nice. 
I'm just going to eat some dinner and then I'm going to have a really early night. Because like I said, I am wiped out. Can you hear that? Someone is going at my neighbour's garden with an actual chainsaw. It's crazy. It's so noisy. But they're finally doing something with the garden that has been left to overgrow for about three years. It just doesn't do anything with it. Basically just taking a chainsaw to it. I mean, that's one way of doing it, isn't it? It's also an incredibly loud way of doing it. It's not one that I enjoy and certainly not one that Archie does either. I was still a little bit annoyed at him this morning after yesterday, but seeing as it's so noisy, I've let him come and cuddle up next to me. Actually, he's not next to me. He's sitting on my laptop table. For some reason, he really likes sitting on it. <laughs> he's weird. I'm just going to take it really easy today. I really need to get quite a lot of editing done on my next video because I haven't done any the last couple of days. But I'm going to try and take it as easy as possible because I'm tired. I'm really tired after the last couple of days. I know I don't usually shower in the morning because it's just not as good a time for me as the afternoon. But I was just so desperate to be clean. I just felt so <laughs> disgusting that I just had to. So I did and I feel much better now. If pretty exhausted but that's fine because I don't actually have anything I need to do today. I finished editing my video yesterday and like exported it and uploaded it so I haven't got much to do for it for the next few days and that's really nice it takes a bit of a weight off my mind and allows me to just chill out a bit more. I can do some knitting if I want to or read because usually in the day I feel like I should be doing that if I have the energy to do anything and it can be a little bit oppressive so it's really nice to have out of the way this week. About a week ago I finished How to Stop Time by Matt Haig. That was the book I've been reading for about a month I think, just under a month. And so I was trying to decide what to read next. I needed to take a few days off because sometimes when you read a book you just want to have a few days to kind of absorb what you've read and How to Stop Time was definitely one of those books. So I didn't immediately dive into reading something else. But a couple of days ago I finally decided on my next read and I went with The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. And this is a book I got for my birthday. Unfortunately I haven't actually been able to read any of the books I got for my birthday yet. They're just sitting up on my shelf. I decided to read this one because, well I mean, it's a modern classic, isn't it? And I think I said when I was talking about my birthday presents that I wanted to read the book before I watched the TV show. So... That's what I'm going to do. I only started it a couple of days ago and I'm already on page 69, which is really, really like quick going for me. Usually it takes me quite a long time to get into a story because I have to read so slowly, but it's actually quite easy to read, which I was really surprised about and really happy about. There's a couple of things that do help with that actually. Firstly, the chapters are short, which is good for me. I get to the end of one and I think, well, I could read a couple more pages, but I don't want to start a chapter if it's going to be like 50 pages long. And the second thing is they actually have like separated sections within the chapter, which makes it easier to stop in the middle of a chapter if I need to. So that's really good. I've just been reading a few pages here and there throughout the day. It's just really nice to be able to read short passages throughout the day as opposed to just being able to read at the end of the day before I go to bed because sometimes I just don't have the energy then. But as I said, because I finished editing my video yesterday, I've got a bit more time on my hands to do some stuff that I just enjoy doing. So that's what I'm going to do today. The athletics is on all day today, which I'm very happy about. So I'm just going to stay in bed, as always. Watch the athletics, read, knit. It's going to be, it's going to be a nice day, I think. So I've just come back upstairs from actually sitting outside in the garden. That doesn't happen very often, as I'm sure you know. But the reason I did it was because it was Archie's first time going outside today. He got his new red collar on, looking very, very cute. And we opened the doors and he just kind of went out and started exploring a bit. And I got a bit of footage, so I'm going to insert it here. New sounds, new smells, lots to explore. He got scared by an aeroplane though and then <laughs> ran back in and 
by that time I really needed to come back upstairs because I can feel a headache starting. It's so bright out there and really, really hot. 28 degrees in the sun, it's ridiculous. So now I'm just gonna lie here and rest and hope that it doesn't develop into a migraine because the last time I sat outside in the sun, that's what happened and I really, really don't want that today. Unfortunately, today's been kind of frustrating so far and this is partly my fault because last night was a real culmination of the World Athletics Championships that I've said before are being held in London this year. I've been watching a lot of them over the past 10 days. Last night was Mary Farah's last race, Usain Bolt's last race, and there were some really key finals that had British athletes in. So I was watching quite a lot of it in the evening and I decided to stay up to see Usain Bolt's last race, which was supposed to be at 10 to 10. And it was the four by 100 meter relay and there was a British team in it as well. So I really wanted to see how they did. And shock, shock, horror, horror, Usain Bolt didn't actually finish the race because he got cramp and had to pull up and stop. He couldn't actually walk properly, let alone run. So that was really disappointing. But the British British team got gold and it was amazing and totally unexpected and it was it was just brilliant so that was really great but I didn't actually stop watching a screen until about 20 past 10 which is way way later than I usually do usually I don't look at screens after 9 p.m. because it helps me kind of wind down and help get my body ready for sleep which as I've said before, it's quite hard to come by for me. So it took me a long time to kind of wind down and get to sleep after that. And I had like really, really weird dreams, seriously messed up dreams that I woke up in the morning being like, what? So due to staying up later than usual, and because I went into the garden yesterday, I've had increased fatigue and pain today, especially like pain in my face. It's really, really just very tough. So I've been feeling quite downhearted and frustrated today, as I always do when I do something even slightly normal, i.e. slightly more than I usually would do, and I just get completely knocked back by friggin' Lyme disease. It's very, very tough to take. And I'm wearing a jumper in the middle of August. What's up with that? Luckily, as the afternoon went on, my pain got a bit better, which was really good, so I've been semi-functional most of the evening. That is semi my normal level of functional, obviously. <laughs> I'm still really, really, really exhausted though, so I'm gonna go to bed now. Today marks the end of another week, the end of another video. I think it's been an okay week. It's not been terrible, it's not been great. I mean, it has been better than the last one because I didn't have to go to the dentist and that's always a good thing. So I'm grateful for that. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you again next week. Bye.